How's it going guys? Welcome to another video in my Unity Devlog series. And in this video I'm going to be looking into creating a harvesting system for my farm game as well as creating a cooking system. I decided to kick things off by making a grow time slider for my plants so that you can see when they're going to be done growing. That's how it looks. It doesn't look good at all. So I'm going to have to go get art for this and bam, there it is. It looks all right. I couldn't find anything to fit my style, but pff, I don't know. I'm just going with it and let's put it in and boom there it is it's not really matching the art style of my game but it's all just placeholder art for now so it's whatever and now you can speed up a crop and it shows these green particles and I took inspiration from when you feed a cow in Minecraft <laughs> yeah all right with that being done I need to add harvesting crops to the game now and I kind of want the idea of having the farmer have inventory weight so he can only hold the amount of crops at a time I don't know I'll just see what I come up with all right I guess I need a barn now ah y'all don't even know the struggle hmm not bad Let's see a vector stock has oh that is beautiful yeah let's download the quote-unquote preview look at that oh checkmate <laughs> vector stock more like free stock quote-unquote preview image <laughs> baka vector stock if you're watching this good for you bro you're um not really good at keeping stuff but look at the bright side though you're gonna be in my beautiful game and boom beautiful and there you go big colossal barn you can move it around I kind of want Rick to move the barn. Rick, how strong are you? Can you push barn? Yeah, but I'm not going to code that because uh, I don't want to. So now I need to make Rick go to the barn and put plants in it. Cool. But first, I'm going to give Rick a little bar over his head that shows how much inventory space he has left. <laughs> Alright, I did a lot off camera, I'm kind of sorry, but the harvesting system is complete now. So if I just plant a bunch of crops, and now if you tap on a crop it shows this little cool bubble and look at that animation yes i know it's amazing i decide to work a little bit on animations as i go just so it doesn't feel so clumpy so if you tap on the sickle it shows that the sickle is selected now i just did this for a visual reference that oh okay i'm harvesting right now pretty cool when you close it, it has a nice animation when you open it it has a nice animation too so now rick can do some harvesting and it's quite awesome and then you can pick up the stuff that you harvested and he has a max inventory space of three so it goes more than three i love coding anyways pick up the sixth one and then you have this beautiful barn here and you can walk to it and then, uh, yeah, Rick does the job, boys. He's a hardworking man. Right now, I need to make an icon that when he makes it here, that it shows the resources added to the barn. And now if we harvest these guys right here, pick them both up, and then go to the barn. And when he gets to the barn, it shows this little resource added animation. Even though he added carrots, it showed corn. Yeah, I know. I'm fixing that right now. Chill out, bro. I guess this means I need to make a barn inventory now, which is pretty complex. But that's just how it is, Ricky. What do you think? You think this barn should have a storage? No? I, I don't, don't care, care what, what you think, think Ricky. Ricky. You don't matter. I love you, Ricky. And you know what? For the barn's user interface, I think I want to make it wood themed because <laughs> barns are made of wood. So, yeah. So I jumped onto Vector Stock and they got some pretty sick looking stuff here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go with this. Hallelujah. 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 Thou shalt not steal unless ye indie game developer thine shall support thine self. Okay, that's selfish. Don't worry guys, this is just placeholder art. I just don't like working with crappy looking UI. But other than that, thou shalt steal. Unless it's in real life, don't do that. Stealing not goodeth. And so is being a hypocrite. Leave a comment down below if you ever stole. Hallelujah. Uh, it's too small. Oof. That's a stretchy boy. I shall cope. All right, here's a preview of what an inventory item would look like. It kind of looks like that. But right now, I need to code in all of these details about the item. For each transform. Destroy child. And now if I harvest these up, pick them up, 
and walk to the barn and now we have barn inventory cool this is so fancy all right boys i have an error if i try to uh hello the wedding already started and you're not here why aren't you at the wedding it already started what, what? no 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 Okay, okay, okay. <gasps> <clears throat> like I was saying, if you harvest a crop, and if he goes to the barn from behind, he kind of does a, a little bit of parkour, which is, I don't know, Ricky, that's cool and all, but um, you shouldn't do that, brother. But since I don't know how to code a waypoint algorithm, then I will not do that. All right, so now what I need is I need a hut for the cooks to stay in. So I'm going to get that. What? I did not steal. What are you talking about? It totally wasn't Victor Stock again. Guys, they have amazing stuff. You should go check them out. <laughs> free stuff. Well, free if you know what to do it. I do. Look at that. Oh my, that does not clean well. It only looks so crappy because it's the stolen version. Wonder if they can sue me somehow. I don't know. I know I didn't even pay for it, but it just looks horrible. Look at that. It was funny. It was funny. You know what I'm saying, bros? Destroy child. All right. Now that we finally destroyed all the children, I don't know what Unity has against children, but boys, do I have a surprise for you? Check it out. Boom. Look at that. It's the cook's hut right here. And then there's this beautiful looking shop, which I know you like. And then you could tap on it and boom, another surprise. Yes, I didn't copy Clash of Clans training barracks. <laughs> yep, this doesn't really work right now, but I got the fundamentals down. And then you have some recipes here to cook. Press on the bread and then uh, there's some errors I need to fix. It was supposed to work, but it didn't. And you could see right here, bread. Bread is a common food that is only used to sustain hunger because it is useless. I'll be back when this is done. Let's get it done, boys. All right, check it out. Now I can come in here and make some bread. One, two, three. Now it understands the max amount that I could buy, which is cool. You know, if I walk into Best Buy, I want them to know I'm broke. So uh, I'm not going to buy three phones. I'm only going to buy one. So as you can see, it does all the calculations for you with the ingredients. And when you hit OK, boom, look at that. It starts cooking and then boom, it's done. Boom, another one. And guess what? Boom, another one. But right now, I have an error that if I try to cook it again, then it just separates it from this guy here. I need them to merge somehow. Let's see what I can do. All right, everything should work now. Well, not everything actually, just the order that everything is cooked in. So now if I cook some bread and some popcorn, the popcorn should go after the bread, not in front of it. And there you go, boom. And now I need to add stacking because it's separating. But let's just test it out. So now they should start stacking instead. Wait, wait, wait a minute. All right, I hope this works because Unity crashed like seven times already. All right, so let's get some bread. So let's see if it works. This, um, oh, yeah, boys, that totally didn't take me a couple hours. And now if I do popcorn, this shouldn't work. Uh, oh, yep. All right, this was super hard to fix all these errors. So now it all stacks fine and completely and whatnot. And you could also make some popcorn. Oh, and did I mention you can only cook one thing at a time now? Yeah, I know. I had so many errors and one little problem that was just completely under the hood it was ruining everything for me. I finally found it and it's working now. Now I need to make the calculation for how much it costs to speed up the recipes. Right now, if I speed it up, it does absolutely nothing. Oh man, I am so tired. I went to sleep super early. Woke up super late. It's like 12 right now and I'm still super tired. I don't know why. It's hard to cook when I'm tired. Um, I think I just broke something. It was actually working earlier. What? Yeah, it should be work. Oh, save. <laughs> okay. Like I said, boys, this is calculating just as good. Wait, the, 
What the f uh, Undo, 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 whatever I did, undo, undo. Back into Unity! And we make some Pepkernu! And it doesn't work. Guys, don't I just sound so handsome in the morning? I should probably focus on fixing my problem. <clears throat> okay, coders, listen. We have our total time, and it is plus equals our recipe cook time times whatever we're cooking so if it takes five seconds to cook and we're making three of them that's 15 seconds to cook so what does this mean i have no idea why is there errors what is minus two trillion million billion trillion quadrillion quadrillion i said um yeah a lot how does this math calculation give me minus four quadrillion cook time is not a number what the that's, that's the weirdest I've ever seen I ever seen. Alright, I'll just come back to you guys when I figured this out. And I figured it out. Look at this. Bread, boom, boom, boom. Okay. And look at that. Whoo, yeah. All I had to do was sadly restart Unity. Yup, Unity had me scrambling all along my code trying to figure out why it's not working. All I had to do is restart it. But it still kind of doesn't work because when it's done, it still thinks the timer has two seconds left. And you have two seconds left to subscribe and like the video. Two. One. Uh, zero. Did you do it? If you did it, PewDiePie loves you. Anyways, I'll come back to you when I finish this part again. This should be working. Let's check it out. So if I make some bread and it says the total time is four, three, two, one. And when it's done, boom, it is zero. And if we try to make multiple items, then it still calculates correctly. Cool. Anyways, that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed the video, consider subscribing and dropping a like on the video. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next video. Say that differently. I didn't like it. <laughs> Get a straight face. We should, we should make bloopers. After this video, make bloopers. No, get a straight face. You're ugly. Stop laughing. <laughs> no, just come on. Get the video done. Alright, it's, it's easy. Just say it again. Just don't laugh. The wedding. Get mad. Look at this. I just slapped you in the face. You're angry. Um, why aren't you at the wedding? You're ready More enthusiasm. Say, why?